Antonio Senzatella with those seven consecutive quality starts has the best ERA of any Rockies starter at 406. He pitches well here at Coors Field 24 and 12 all time which is second best in club history. And that's a beautiful slider with depth. Senzatella pounded the zone and he strikes out the great Mookie Betts one guy in the air to left field but lots of room for Ryan Vallade and he makes his first put out as a Rocky at Coors Field for out number two here in the top of the first and Turner on a ground right to Crone he'll run to the bag and that is a marvelous start for Sensatella. Well, the Dodgers since moving to L.A. have had three guys lead the majors in wins. Drysdale did it once. Kershaw's done it twice. Sandy Koufax did it three times and Julio Rios a couple weeks away from joining that list. That's a fly ball to center field that sends Betts back with room for a deep out number one. Bounce to short for Seeger. Got those sleeves on on this cool night in Denver. And Arias has the first two outs on four pitches. That one spins up there and gets popped sky high in the Mile High City. Turner makes the catch and on six pitches. Arias with a clean first. Well, Mookie Betts, it's round two for the Dodgers against Sensatella. He's in the air to Charlie in right. Well, you know you have good stuff. When you're ahead of a hitter like Mookie Betts, 3 1, and you could still jam him with the fastball. Off speed, roll over, two outs. Yeah, he's got it working tonight, doesn't he? Swing and a grounder over the mound, charged by Story, bare hands, but he won't have a play. Just not hit hard enough, and Trey Turner with terrific speed able to beat that out. That's the first hit and the first base runner for either team coming with two outs in the fourth. Not going, and it's tapped. Toward McMahon and he'll throw out Muncy. No problem after the infield hit. So round two now for the Rockies uh, against Urias. And this is bounced a second slowly. And Hanson will reach. Trey Turner, because of the speed, never got it out of his glove. Bounce left side. The only play is at first for Justin Turner to get Rogers. A play by Muncy stepping into the baseline to catch it. Story digs it out, flies it into the left field corner for Gavin Lux. He's got it. Story's out number two. Charlie Blackman to see what he can do with Hampson down at second in a scoreless game in the fourth. This ball's driven to right center field. This will get down. And a hit off the wall. Blackman has extra bases. What up in Colorado? And the Rockies break the ice in the fourth. It's one to nothing. Charlie's had good history against Julio Urias, and we've talked throughout Blackman's long career with the Rockies. His ability to hit left-handed pitching as a left-handed batter. So Blackman now at second with two outs for C.J. Crone. Crone, that's a fair ball. The Rockies are going to take a 2 nothing lead. Crone headed towards second. Blackman scores. Got to love those two out rallies in Lodo. Rockies go back to back with doubles to score twice. Crone's 25th double and 84th RBI. Rockies with the first two runs of the day on to the fifth. 2 2, swung on and missed. Strike three on Smith. 1 2 3. And then Rock grounds a base hit the other way. First hit to leave the infield for the Dodgers, and this fifth inning kept the lot. 2 2 pitch. Rayleigh with a base hit in the center. Past the diving story. Lux is headed for third. He'll get there without a throw. And back to back two out hits for the Dodgers. Couple two out, two strike hits. And a two Rias. Ground ball, base hit right field. Rias drives in the first Dodger run of the game. And with three consecutive two out hits, it's 2 1. Breaking ball, but he shows his eye hand coordination right here. Fooled on the pitch, but boy, did he do a nice job just trying to make contact, give himself a chance, release the top hand, extend the swing through the ball, find the hole, and cut the lead in half. Three straight two out hits, three straight two strike hits. Baltimore chop. This is no play, and this is a tie game. Four straight, two out, two strike hits, and it's tied at two.
Trey Turner, an infield single and two tries, leads it off. Trey Turner smacks the first pitch of the sixth into right base hit. Dodgers gunning for their first lead. Max Muncy waits. Driven to left center field. Way back there. Off the wall. Muncy into second with a double. Turner's headed home. He'll score. And the Dodgers take the lead. First lead of the night for the Dodgers as Muncie cranks a double the other way. Trey Turner builds up so much speed when he comes home to slide. It's like he's just gliding on ice. Served into right. Blackman's there. Muncie's headed for third. The throw is not in time. The man in third with one away for Will Smith. Smith goes the other way with a deep fly ball. Blackman to the corner. They'll run it down, but that'll bring in Max Muncy. Dodgers four, Rockies two. They get two in the fifth and now two in the sixth. Julio Rios gave up the two runs in the fourth. Pitched around a leadoff double in the fifth and now pitches with the lead for the first time tonight. Rios gives up a leadoff hit here. The other way from Rogers. So here's Crone, an RBI double in the fourth. Two outs, Rodgers at second. This ball lined to right center field. This will get the job done. Coming home is Rodgers. Crow digging towards second, and he's in with another double. Make it four to three. That's 26 doubles now on the season for CJ. Another off speed pitch, Spilly, and uh, he reacted well to it. Elias Diaz. Who's due against Urias? He's one for 14 lifetime. And this is trouble. down the left field line. This is a long run for Lux. He didn't make the catch. He, he came out it. of his glove. Crowd scores. Diaz to second. We're all tied up. It's tied here in Colorado. 4 4 between the Dodgers and the Rockies. And with two gone in the seventh inning, Blake Trining comes on for Charlie Blackman. He struck him out with the high fastball. Trying to get you out of the jam. The game stays tight at four. Tight game at home. You get your closer typically. And Carlos Estevez is out there for Buddy Black. And this is to shallow right. And Charlie lays out, makes the catch. Boy, well, Charlie Blackman has been covering some ground in right field. Looked like he was going to pull up for a moment, but stuck that glove out and then grabbed it looked like the back of his leg what a grab by Charlie out number one Smith ground ball to short and they get Smith for the second out on the ricochet chance to get got him. got him on the pitch back Diaz <laughs> laughing he threw it Absolute missile to second, and the Rockies get Lux. We go to the bottom of the ninth, 4 4. Here in the bottom of the ninth, and Sam Hilliard, who singled off the bench in the seventh and stayed in in left field, will have the first crack at Jansen. Ball four, winning run with big time wheels to first. That's a good start. He strikes out Hampson. One man out. Flies it to center field, but routine for Mookie Betts, and there's out number two. Hit in the air, right field. Raley's there, and this game goes to the 10th. Rockies go into extra innings for the 14th time. And they announce Pujols as the pinch hitter. Ground ball, base hit center field. Gavin Lux trots home. Albert Pujols, a pinch hit RBI single, giving the Dodgers the 5-4 lead. They brought him to L.A. for just that situation right there. Line drive, caught, throw to first, double play. Well, pitcher running at first. Gosselin didn't get back. So to the bottom of the 10th, and it will be Bruce Star Gratterall. Got him! Good slider from Gratterall for the first out of the 10th. Here comes Brewstar with a 100 mile power fastball that's grounded his second for Trey Turner, and they're an out away. Tied run at third, now winning run at first. Fly ball, center field, no big deal. Mookie bets the Dodgers win it in 10. Dodgers five, Rockies four, and it's down to a half game.